Many people are getting into LLMs right now. More and more people are wanting to use bits and bytes in order to quantize them. Bits and bytes windows is an option for those of you that are developing on Windows, although I would still recommend at least using WSL so that you can take advantage of all the Linux support. Anyway, in order to get bits and bytes windows working with another package called transformers, you have to change a couple of files. So the first file we're going to change is in the transformers utils folder. You can see it up here. It's bits and bytes.py they have this threshold of version numbers and um, the bits and bytes windows package does not line up with tim detmer's bits and bytes as far as releases and so you have to change that number i've changed it down to 0.37.2 if you don't change it it will raise a value error the second one is the quantization config.py this is the exact same thing i've changed it down they normally do 0.39 um, but again, because that doesn't coincide with the releases of Bits and Bytes Windows, I changed it down. Unfortunately, 4-bit quantization is still not supported on Bits and Bytes Windows. And I'll show you both of these just to show you. Um, we're going to be doing this on Big Science's Bloom 1B7. So here's our 8-bit, and we're going to copy the, the exact same thing and try to load it in 4-bit as well. Now we're going to run it. As you can see, there's our 8-bit, and here's our 4-bit error. Um, yeah, like I said, loading in int4 is still unsupported in Bits and Bytes Windows, but you'll still want to make the change just in case for when it actually is supported. You'll still have a version number that's compatible with Transformers. So let's delete this, and I'll show you again the 8-bit. There we go. Two gigabytes. This is normally seven gigabytes on disk, as you can see below. It's uh, 3.5 gigabytes on Hugging Face, and they store an FP16. So, thanks.